I mean, top of the list by a long way is, is Beethoven. And um, if for no other, other reason, the top of the list of my pieces of you know, composition in the classical genre are, are essentially you know, three of Beethoven's symphonies, but particularly the Ninth Symphony, which for me is the most incredibly all-encompassing, great, huge piece of music. And um, that's you know, an enormous work, an enormous um, bringing together of lots of influences he had. Um, a truly wonderful piece of music. Um, you know, Bach, he's kind of in there as well as being someone that I, that I really admire. And, um, and also some of the very early, you know, pre-classical era in the, in the period of, um, of more evolutionary music in Europe. You know, people like Dowland who were uh, part of a, a rather romantic era of, um, of music. That when, when music began to be seriously understood and written down and, and, and vocal music started to, to become acceptable outside the world of the church. I'm, I'm, the guy, I'm the guy who goes to iTunes and types in best classical music album ever. Because <laughs> I just want to hear the, the easy things. I, I want someone to do the work for me. I'm, you know, I'm not a student of music. I'm not, I wasn't brought up with listening to the detail of classical music. So, you know, I, I tend to buy albums that are called um, The Very Best of Mozart. <laughs> and boxed sets of, you know, Beethoven or whatever else. So, so, you know, I, I tend to listen to uh, pretty much mainstream stuff. There is so much of it to listen to.